Up. Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunner. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? That is all for now. Return any time. It must be finished now. But if you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volka first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere.
Hamuram. Hamuram. Volka? Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... Uh, I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I... I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce. And then a figure. A greybeard in a cloak. With a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threads that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Whatever happens, whatever I see, whatever you foretell, it must stay between us. We cannot change the fate we are bound to. What matter who knows and who does not? The outcome will be the same. It matters to me. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey. Harvey! Do I walk among the dead? Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother! When did you arrive? no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Take it!
What has happened? This was not for you, Javi. It is Valka. I am here. God! I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I... I was on a mountain, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm-hmm. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the Wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's hall of slain champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threats of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong, or you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Thank you. 
They must be finished now. The king has called for his best need, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I'll speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Careful with that one. Eivor! Sigurd! <laughs> ah, look at you, blood-soaked drinker. Well, have you been worrying without me? Ah, oh, and you, salt-cured vikinger. <laughs> I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just the start. <laughs> Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes! Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagat, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, oh, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyrtvis' men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. For that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. 
Nothing short of war will dislodge Kjotbe from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kjotbe the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son! Welcome home! Ah, uh, father... Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kjotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. <laughs> to my first night in Fornberg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringur. Now drink. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. From drinking to breathing, you turn everything into a competition, brother. I must always be prepared. <laughs> True enough. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Yeah. <laughs>
Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist plate is a sacred Do tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on.